Hello, I'm Tim Krull. Welcome to Norwich City Central. What's going on, Lewis? Norwich City Central. Welcome to a match reaction. Liverpool 4, Norwich City 1 on the opening night of the Premier League. A bit of context where I am at the moment. I'm currently in Norwich Station. Um, the journey was so we left at Carrow Road at 12. We got into Liverpool for half seven. Uh, and then we left Liverpool about half ten and got into Norwich for about half four. So it's been about a 14 hour roughly journey in total with some trains to go. I'm absolutely shattered and the Norwich players are going to be shattered as well because they gave it everything in that performance. A lot of desire, a lot of passion and overall the, the sense coming out of the stadium was pride because I thought Norwich City put a very good performance in. Some sloppy and avoidable goals which is really disappointing but in terms of our style of play we, we played brilliantly in it. It was a brave performance, and but I'm really, really proud of it. A lot of teams go to Anfield, even the top teams. You've seen the likes of Arsenal at times and park the bus and settle for what they have. But Norwich City, we kept to our philosophy, we kept to our style, and we kept attacking. The first 20 minutes, I thought we was absolutely excellent. Played some great passing football. Todd Campwell started the game, and I thought he was very, very impressive. Good movements. You love to see, you know, the youth academy players do well. And Todd Campwell's had a little bit of stick last season, but he certainly. Uh, from pre-season and this Liverpool game looks like he's going to be up for it this season and yeah, we played some really good football stupid and having a really good chance and we create some good opportunities and cut the champions of Europe open a few times but uh, the goals were so avoidable I mean Grant Hanley in the, um, obviously slicing it in and into his own net and then Mo Salah a deflection fell perfectly into his path and then although we had a great 30, first 20 minutes we were 2-0 down and then we kind of lost our way a little bit and Liverpool showed their class making it 3-4-0. and four nil. The third goal was something which really disappoints me, it's another set piece. Uh, I saw a stat in the Guardian, 20% of goals in the, in the Premier League are scored from set pieces and Norwich scored a lot. Uh, Norwich conceded a lot of set pieces last season, the sixth most in the league. And it was so easy for Van Dijk, he didn't even have to jump. And I don't know why Jamal Lewis was marking him. You'd think it'd be Grant or Ben, so that's poor. And, you know, we've got to improve our marking and the zonal system doesn't particularly work. And then we made it 4-0 as well, another cross came in. And that's really just disappointing me because Norwich City, we put in a fantastic attacking display, played some beautiful passing football, which practically all, all the Premier League teams would be envious of. But when it comes to defending crosses and defending set pieces, one of the easier parts of the game, we can't seem to do it. Um, that was disappointing and we went, we went into half time 4-0 down but certainly didn't deserve it after some kind of great attacking play. But we won the second half and that's the most important thing. We, we did win the second half I guess as a consolation. Timu Puki with his goal and Timu Puki there's something very Vardy-esque about him. He's, he's, he's very deceptively quick, good movement, um, very clinical and that's really really pleasing to see. Um, I, hope, I think Timu Puki can bag at least 15 goals this season. There's something really really special about him. And I can't wait to see more of him. And the atmosphere as well at Anfield was electric. The Norwich City fans kept it bouncing. And Daniel Farker praised us in his post-match conference, um, saying how you know he loves he loves the fans, he loved the club, and he praised even though we were four 0 down about the togetherness and spirit of the team. And that, that's what I loved about this game. There was a great togetherness, great spirit in amongst the fans and on the players. And I think we're going to be just fine if we play like that all season. We've come against, I've come up against the champions of Europe, one of the best teams. In, in the world, if not the best team in the world. Mo Salah is you know, an incredible player. So, many, so much talent across the pitch. And we'll be we, giving them a good game. If you look at the stats, Liverpool slightly you know, shaded it. And of course, Liverpool deserve to win, but probably not by 4-1. It probably wasn't a fair reflection of the scoreline. We played some really exciting stuff. And I can't wait to see more of it. In terms of player ratings, Tim Krull was absolutely fantastic. And I, I could see him continuing being our number one. I thought he was great, made some athletic saves. Uh, obviously centre backs didn't have their best game the full backs looked good in the second half in particular Jamal Lewis, Tribal put in a decent performance, Kenny McLean did as well Todd Cantwell excellent from him, really pleased for him, um, Buendia, Stupidman all put in a good shift and obviously Timu Puki with a fantastic performance his willingness to run the channels was, was superb and that's what I loved about Norris City in, in conclusion, we kept to our philosophy in the championship we played this great attacking passing football and we continued it into the Premier League and you know some people might say it's naive but not, not for me it's not because we played some great football and if we did part the bus we'd have got, got absolutely slaughtered. We could have shut up, stop 2-3-0 no and just accepted our loss uh, but we kept on going, kept plugging away and I can't wait to see that kind of spirit and determination as the season goes on. So thanks for watching this match review. The match day experience will be up on the channel so keep an eye out for that and I'm absolutely shattered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.